Hi everyone, Ross here from Teacher Talker. I am pleased to have Cameron from Rock Kids in the office. Cameron, how are you? I'm really good. It's interesting to see where everything happens behind the scenes. Because normally when we speak, it's up just over there. Yeah, that's true. A little webcam. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm shorter than I am. <laughs> that's very true. It's good at all. Um, I had the privilege of... Um, so I'm working with Rock Kids, but I've had the privilege of going and seeing them in action in a school in Huddersfield, not too far from where I am. Uh, a week ago, maybe... Yeah, just last week. Definitely a career highlight for me in terms of assemblies. So, Cameron, tell us what is Rock Kids? Give us your lift pitch, first of all. Yeah, good question. So, we deliver the most fun, amazing and engaging workshops all around the UK. Yeah. So, if you're a primary school head teacher, deputy head teacher, business manager or class teacher, we'll turn up to your um, school hall 8 a.m. in the morning we load all of our fancy equipment into yeah. your school hall and we'll transform your school hall into a rock concert yeah. venue for the day. And they literally will. So um, uh, even to the point where the head teacher dresses up as a rock star. Yeah, we invite uh, all, all the kids, all the staff to dress as rock stars for the day. That just gives it a load of profile, makes it a really memorable experience. Also allows the schools to do a bit of fundraising for it as well. Right. But, uh, you know, once we've transformed the school into a, a rock concert venue for the day, we deliver four workshops throughout the day on uh, a theme of the school's choice. Some deliver on self-esteem, perseverance, anti-bullying, and respect and diversity, right. but we do it through rock music in the local. Okay. Sort of fun wow. You literally have been to every corner of the UK. Yeah, pretty much. We, we've been, even just this year, we've been up to Scotland. We've been down to London and Hampshire. We've been in Birmingham. We're in the Northeast soon. We're in Wales this week for the first time ever. We've got a trip to the Isle of Man in two weeks' time, so you can see we're, we're covering sort of most of the Probably thing the range, yeah. Um, if I was a head teacher watching this, um, and I can vouch, brilliant family for money, um, and very affordable. If I was a head teacher watching this, what what could I? So if I choose a workshop on perseverance, give me an idea of the 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 design of the day which kind of kids would experience different parts of the day and what would be like the intended outcome towards the end? Where would you hope to have the whole school? That's great. Great question. So our perseverance workshop for a first visit to a school, we teach a song called Don't Quit. Right. And we'll start at 9am with years one, two and three in the hall. Uh, we'll do an hour with them. We'll then do years four, five and six, mm -hmm. 10 till 11. And then we'll do a shorter, quieter reception session just after lunch, and then we'll finish the day off with a whole school workshop. That's where we really try and reinforce the message behind the song. So the rest of the day, loads of fun learning the song, but we really try and re reinforce the message behind the song. And we'll be like, one takeaway from the day that we really want them yeah. to, re to remember. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, with our self-esteem workshop, uh, I think you were there. Yeah, I just feel, yeah the big takeaway is Yars Bar. You're awesome, so be awesome. Yeah, you're all awesome, so be awesome. We, we want to leave them with one key message that they can remember that's linked to the song. Okay, line. And here's a chance to blow your own trumpet because I can vouch it is phenomenal uh, having experienced it. Give me uh, kind of some key memories that you've heard teachers say about your events. Yeah. And it stands out. Yeah, I think that the, the ones that really stand out for me is when teachers might come to us in the morning and they might be a little bit apprehensive because they say hey, i have got this particularly difficult child or i've got um we've got a lot of special need in a particular year group and they're a little bit worried that they might not engage or all that sort of stuff and then the overwhelming feedback always at the end of the day is how amazed they were at how it brought everyone in the school together making like a hundred percent engagement even those kids that they weren't sure would engage still did so an example would be um today uh, at the school we we're in in halifax uh there, were, there was a, a young lad uh with ear defenders on right uh they were a little bit worried that he wouldn't be able to sort of cope with the, the flashing lights the music and all that sort of stuff he started the day outside of the room right and then by the end of the day he came up the front to take part in one of the battle times kind of so re remind everyone of your website address so it's rockkidsuk.com and you've got all, all the information on that. Um, yeah. And socials? Socials also at Rock Kids UK on everything, Twitter, all Facebook. Events. And from me, I cannot emphasise enough, if you're a primary school leader watching this, 
and you want to get an immediate impact on your school community, uh, Rock Kids UK is it. And they're nearly fully booked for the 2023-24 academic year. So you need to get in early because these guys are going to have the try and upscale their team as well as get people booked in for the end of spring, early summer term. Yeah, I think March is probably the earliest we can get it on at the moment. And then June is pretty much fully booked. July is only fully booked. So we've sort of gone in March, April, May. And it's only a matter of time before these guys are in demand in British schools internationally. So that's going to be the next day, I suspect. <laughs> and uh, yeah, check them out. Thanks, Jim. Thank you very much.